is the London Mela 2013, it's our 11th year. Uh, the, the event has taken place here in Gunnersbury Park in West London uh, ever since its inception. It's artistically led and, and, and art can speak to, to everyone. In recent years, uh, working with the Philharmonia has been uh, an excellent way of bridging the gap between East and West, uh, and also drawing a really mixed audience, uh, because I think people are, are keen to uh, know about the tradition, but also where the tradition can go. I've loved India for many years. Um, and to have the experience of India here in London for, for, for Londoners as well as the Indian community is, is fantastic. We're playing a Samagam, which was written by a, a very esteemed Indian musician, Amjad Ali Khan, who is the father of Aman and Ayan, who are the two soloists on, on the Sarod today. And it's, it's a project I developed with Amjad Ali Khan um, initially about five years ago. We, I went to Delhi and Amjad Ali Khan would sing his music uh, and I'd write it down basically and then um, feed it into uh, the computer and we'd discuss little tweaks here and there, how to make it work for the orchestra and Samagam is the result. This is the first time we are collaborating with the Philharmonia Orchestra. I just feel very happy and uh, very honoured that we are able to uh, do projects like this. Indian classical music, the main difference is that we don't have a written score. Everything uh, happens right up there on stage. Of course, certain, the basics are planned, but then you might end up doing something completely different up there uh, from what you plan. If you tell us to play for 20 minutes, it can never be 20 minutes. It'll be either 24 or 19 or 18. I mean, you know, because nothing is set. There is a section which is called the medley where the members of the orchestra do improvise and I think that's something that even they are very excited about. The improvising has been fun, challenging. Uh, it's a little bit scary and we had the extra days rehearsal for us to have a go at that actually which was a relief. It's terrifying to begin with, you think oh my god. <laughs> I've never done this before, that kind of thing, but you know, you use your ears and your imagination and listen to the way they do it. Hopefully, inspiration will strike. They give you the notes that, that you can improvise on, so you have a guideline, which is good actually in the way, because uh, I wouldn't know what to do otherwise. There are all sorts of challenges for the Western players having to sort of free up and, and learn to just go with the moment and, and to, to, to watch and listen to what their Indian colleagues are doing. Uh, and also vice versa, the Indian musicians have to stay within a structure more than they normally would. So everybody's learning from, from, from everybody, which is why it's such a, you know, when it works as it's working today, it's a fantastic creative process. Yeah.